Well, if you joined us late, we are talking about and trying to find out all we can about something called Strap 'em Up Boot Camp. And I have two very lovely young people here. We're so glad to have them on the set. And Steve Sullivan, who is United States Army Drill Sergeant, okay? And next to him is um, uh, Drill Sergeant Cannon. Yes, ma'am. And then we, I've got real quick, Southside Middle School, Private Warren, and Private First Class Sniper from Riverside High School. Okay, so we're glad to have you. This is a, a program that is, it's in its infancy, and you're trying to expand it, you want to expand it, and you have some 40-some young people yes, as of now. Yes, ma'am. And these are kids that maybe need a little extra guidance, and if they didn't have it, might go in a bad direction. Yes, ma'am. A little structure, a little guidance uh, uh, wouldn't, hurt, wouldn't hurt any kid. You bet. But yes, ma'am, that's, that's what we're, we're here to do. We want to be that last stop before the system. Um, the, some, a lot of these kids are straddling the fence. They could go either way. We try and catch them and, uh, before they go the wrong way. Um, <clears throat> we teach them uh, there's things that, you know, that they don't teach in school. It's just like the United States Army, we, uh, Fort Jackson, South Carolina. But you're right, this is in its infancy, infancy state right now. But we're trying to expand, but we're reaching out as well to anybody that's willing, anybody's willing to, to sponsor, to help out, to uh, contribute to a good cause. And that's us, because I mean, these kids, again, I stay, are our future. Now, they come from various schools, like, you, you know, you are bo both from a different different school. Yes, ma'am. They so are. they come from other schools. Oh yes, ma'am. To meet and you meet at a certain times. We meet at a certain time. Uh, it's uh, be, being that we have don't have, don't have our own facility right now. Uh, we're using the Upstate Circle of Friends facilities. Okay. We meet on Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays. Tuesdays and Thursdays is at, is at five o'clock in the afternoon to seven o'clock in the evening. Saturdays we meet no earlier than ten. Maybe sometime, maybe sometime 12, but we stay a little longer, yeah. uh, four or five hours. Those are normally our service trips uh, where we uh, have our fundraisers, where we take the kids to the, the Mud Run Trail, the Donaldson Center, uh, our aviation tours, uh, different tours, law enforcement tours. Uh, and the fundraisers teach these kids good work ethics, uh, teach them how to work together and get along in a, in a different environment. But yes, ma'am, as I stated before, uh, we're reaching out uh, right now. You've given us an opportunity. We're seeking any sponsors that we could possibly get uh, that would want to be a part of or participate. They're more yeah. than welcome. We welcome them. We welcome them uh, anybody that has a kid that's in need, that's in need of uh, some structure, some discipline, some guidance. Um, and our model is we don't punish. We polish these oh, kids. Oh, I love that. You yes, don't punish people. You we, don't beat them down. We you polish, polish them. them. Yes, ma'am. You know, these kids, a lot of these kids is already, have already been beat, beat down, and we want to build them back up. And we do that by empowering them with these tools. And uh, so that's where the model came from. We don't punish. We polish. We mold, mentor, and motivate these young people into being the best they possibly can be, to go on and do great things in life, because they are our future. Now, Steve, you, you're willing to go into schools and churches and then talk about this program, strap them up? Yes, ma'am, anywhere at any time. I'm more than willing. And we have a phone number, which, of course, is 864-484-2422. That is correct. And if somebody wants more information, they're welcome to call that. Then you have a website, which will be in effect. In maybe a, about a, a week, weeks. yes, ma'am. Yeah, so that's so. www.strapemupbootcamp.com. Yes, ma'am. Okay. And <clears throat> tell me about how you work with not only the kids, but with the parents and the families and the caregivers, because okay. that, that all plays together. You can't do it all. Yes, it's, it's got to be a combination. Yes, ma'am. I agree. And I'm glad <laughs> you asked that question. Um, we... Uh, Try and get the parents involved. When we make out the packet, we go, I go over the entire program with the parents. And at the end of that, pro, uh, that packet is three forms they sign. A parent, guardian, consent. A parent, I mean, a parent, guardian, consent form. A parent, guardian, contract. And a admission and registration. Those three forms there, they give back to us. They fill it out and hand it back to us. And we create a file jacket on that particular uh, uh, child. Okay. 
The parents keep the pack of themselves. And once they do that, yeah. once they do that, we start that file. We track their progress every two weeks. We ask the parents on one of the, one of the criteria of the contract is to call us at least once a week. And you don't have to, they don't have to limit themselves to just once a week. Call us as needed, but call us and let us know what's going on at home and in school with that youth. Now, a lot, a lot of these young people have had deep problems. Yes, ma'am. <clears throat> So that has brought them to a point where they need your expertise, your support, your build-up. Yes, ma'am. Right? Yes, ma'am. You you are right. And we try and guide. We try and find out and 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 with these kids and get in their minds what is it that they're good at, what is it that they want to do, what is it that they, they like, and we try and nurture that. We try and nurture that and and and, and have speak guest speakers come by. We have a curriculum that, that we go by. These kids when they complete this, this program. They're going to be CPR certified. They know the four basic life-saving steps and the Heimlich maneuver, and a, just to name a few things. So you teach them life-saving. Yes, ma'am. Mm -hmm. Lessons. We and we have we have uh, certified uh, uh, first responders that comes in and and qualifies these young people, the young people. Have you enjoyed learning and working and made, maybe made some new friends? Yes, ma'am. Have you really enjoyed this program? How long have you been in it? Um, two weeks after it started, but I really don't know. What she what? Two weeks after it started, she's staying <laughs> almost three years. <laughs> but uh, off and on, off and on, Miss Denny, she has. Uh, like I said, she uh, she's with her mom and her mom's single, single parents. She has a uh, her sibling, my other granddaughter, which is seven years old. She was in there for a while, but the mom moved. The, her mother moved, and uh, they. Didn't weren't able to come at 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 a certain at that certain time, but she came back. Okay. Now, what about you? How long have you been involved? I've been involved for about six months now. I started okay. in the summer. And are you you feel like you're really benefiting from the program? Yes, ma'am. I've gained a lot of respect for other people since I started. That's great. That's great. So you need what do you need? Do you need volunteers? Do you need? I know you know it takes money to keep this kind of thing on afloat. But what are your we, ma'am, we we need genuine, genuine uh, uh, people that love what we do, that love kids, that 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 has have the same passion that we do about these young people because they are our future. If all you need to do is look on on the news and you see what's going on, and a lot of these kids are just disenfranchised, single parent home, uh, grandparents are raising kids now these days. I know. And it's and it's, it's it's sad that they have to do what they did before again, and we try and be a help meet for those those grandparents and those parents that are uh, disenfranchised and the fathers. Now, not, Steve, the fathers these, the these meetings that you have. Yes, ma'am. Yeah, and you've got forty some young people involved at yes, this point. Do they have to get there and? back on their own you don't have transportation yes ma'am that's another thing we're reaching out to anybody that but they come them. from different areas so I it know. isn't like you have everybody from one school I know I know it's, it's, it's tough at times but I, I made a promise to myself and I and an oath that I, no mission too difficult no sacrifice too great uh, we don't have and we can't don't provide transportation right now but one day I know we will and I'm and that's my that's my uh, desire that's my vision and uh, um, that's my belief. If you have a central place to hold these meetings. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. And, and, and the place we're looking at, it's more than adequate. It has, it's a 10.6 acres, two buildings sitting on this land. It was an old elementary school. I don't know if you ever heard of Baker's Chapel Elementary School. Mm -hmm. We're looking at that, and uh, it's looking pretty good right now. And uh, uh, thank God for that. We, but it's been a long time coming. I, I, I saw this, I, and I saw this, this place. And I just happened to, I, when I walked that grounds for seven days, fasted and prayed, and I got done. I was, went to the sign to look at how bad it was, and I leaned down, and just so happened, the emblem that's on this hat was the same emblem on that sign. Oh, really? Yes, ma'am. I'll hold it up. Maybe we can get a, a look. At, this is your, obviously, your hat and yes. the symbol here. Dude, yes, ma'am. The eagle. That symbol there is actually still on, that on sign. the sign of the old Baker's Chapel. That school has been there since, um, has been unoccupied since July of 06. 
Uh, the only other people that's ever used it was the Greenville County Police Department for training. But it's, it, it, it needs work, but we're willing to get in there and do the work. We just need... Uh, Be great if some church or some corporation would say, hey, I'll take this on. This is something we could get involved in yes, because it, there's, it, it's every every young person is welcome. It doesn't matter the color of your skin, how good a student you are. If you have a, a will to learn and make something of yourself, you've got people here who want to help you. Yes, ma'am. And we, we we're a nonprofit. We have, but we have our articles of corporation from the Secretary of State of South Carolina, and we uh, have a 501c3 in place as well. And were you a drill sergeant at Fort Jackson? Fort Jackson. Ooh. Action Jackson, as they call it. <laughs> I bet they all shake when you go by. Oh, my, man, I tell you, I, it, was a, it was the hardest job I ever had in my life, but it was the best job I ever had as well. Well, I think you're moving into something that God has asked you to do. And all I can say to you young people is God bless you. Keep studying. And any dream you have, just keep on. Amen. That, that's what it's all about. Amen. That's, that's, right. that's what this country's all about. Amen. God bless you for Thank what you, you're doing. I can't reach all of you over there, but anyway, <laughs> we just, I wanted you to know about Strap Them Up Boot Camp. And I've got the information here, and I'll save it if you, if you want more information. And wherever you are, we wish you joy. Bye-bye.